Hello and welcome to the next video in my beginner's guide to the Dark Souls series. In this video I'll be explaining how the humanity system works in Dark Souls, since it took me a while for me to get my head around it. When I first started playing I thought the humanity counter was your level, and I got angry when I died and lost what I thought at the time was my levels. So humanity is basically a game mechanic that controls a lot of the facets of the game, both offline and online. In the top left corner of the game screen you'll see the humanity counter. This represents how many humanity you are currently holding. This can be increased by using a humanity item or killing a large amount of enemies in one area if the area boss is still alive. Having humanity in this counter will give you the benefits of, of the humanity, but will also put your humanity at risk. Any humanity in this counter will be lost on death, but, re but can be reclaimed by reaching your bloodstain. The benefits of humanity are vast. It will increase not only your item discovery, but also your curse resistance, resistance your damage with chaos weapons, and your physical, magical, fire, and lightning defenses. These benefits will only work so far though, as your item discovery and damage with chaos weapons will stop increasing after 10 humanity, and your curse resistance will stop res increasing after 30 humanity. Humanity is also centered around one of the largest game mechanics in the game, whether you're in human form or undead. These are two different forms your character can be in at one time, both having their benefits and downfalls. You start the game in undead form, and in this form you gain nothing special. This form really has no benefits or downfalls other than not having the benefits and downfalls of being in a human form. To change from undead to human form, all you have to do is to have one humanity in your counter, go to a bonfire and select reverse hollowing. This will use that one humanity in your counter and will change you from undead form to human form where a whole matter of problems will erupt. Being in human form will change a few things. First off, your character's appearance, changing from a zombie-like look of being undead to actually looking human. Next, it will allow you to kindle bonfires. This allows you to gain more Estus flasks when you visit a bonfire. The max is 10 flasks until you possess the right of kindling, and after that, it'll, the max will be 20 flasks. This also costs one humanity, like changing from undead to human does. And finally, in human form you can summon other players into your lords as phantoms to help you out. But you can also be invaded by other players and sometimes NPCs, where their aim is to kill you. Upon death, you will turn back into undead form if you are in human form, though this can be countered by wearing a rare ring of sacrifice, which will keep you in human form after death, but it will also break the ring. So, how much humanity is right for you? Well, it all depends on what you need out of humanity, but for the average player, I recommend you carrying 10 humanity at a time. With 10 humanity, this will give you a nice buff to your defensive stats, and it will also give you the max item discovery you can get out of humanity, allowing you to get more rare drops from enemies. It's also a small amount of humanity, so it won't be too much to lose if you can't get back to your bloodstain after death. And that is it, I guess. That's all I want to talk about humanity, that pretty much covers the basics of humanity. There's a lot more I can go into depth, but I'm going to save that for later videos. Uh, for the next video, actually, I'll be focusing on the covenants in the game. Uh, so, uh, don't forget to give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and goodbye!